Okay, Alamuchi is an old Indian name. And actually on the bottom of this little picture that has been painted year after year by people who we don't even know who does it. The name on the bottom is Chief Alamuchi because that's where the name came from. Now, the original road from Hackettstown to Newton used to go right by this rock. And until about 1930, this was the main road from here to New York State. And during the Revolutionary War, they captured some Brits up in New York, and they marched them down. And on their way by this rock, one of them, a guy by the name of Hoffman, slipped down behind the rock. And after the rear guard had gone by, he came out, mingled with the people in the area, and married and lived and raised a family here and is buried right down here. So I was really interested in the Indian rock. So I imagined behind those trees is Stuyvesant Hall. And when the lake is frozen, my wife Kitty and I in about 1957, maybe 56, came down this road and we could see from up there one nun ice skating on that lake. She was in her full habit, and we stopped to watch her for a while. So when this painting came into my mind, I thought, hey, we've got the building in the distance, the nun on the ice, and the gentleman who is the kind of historian of the Stuyvesant estate he knows all the property and trails, and he's involved in open space, and he, he gets groups of Boy Scouts to make new trails. Well, he's in the original painting. His Boy Scouts are in the painting. The nun is in the painting. The rock is in the painting. Rutherford Hall is in the painting, and it was fun. Okay, when I began working down here in Alamuchi, I needed a cup of coffee, and this was the most convenient place. Didn't know anybody, came in, had a cup of coffee, walked out. Next time I came in, I asked them if I could, if they'd mind if I set up out front and uh, do a painting of the uh, business. I think they thought I was crazy, but uh, they agreed. And then I wanted it to be in snow again. There were two paintings I wanted to be in snow. Finally it snowed and I came down here. And I wanted to set up in the road out front, but the state police wouldn't let me. So we got permission from the neighbors and they let me stand on their lawn in the snow. And that day I did a pretty, pretty complete layout. Took it back to the studio and finished it. Next time I came back, I found out his last name was Pishkobia. And when mommy and I used to, when we were first married, we'd go to Hoboken to a place called the Clam Broth House. And they had a formal restaurant with a violin. So it was really high class. Then they had next to it a little restaurant that was like a diner, diner menu. And then over on the left, there was a bar where all the workers came in from the shipyards and they bought clams and beer and threw the shells on the floor. It was really a neat place. Well, lo and behold, I find out the dean, his name is Pushkobia, his parents owned the Clambroth House. He worked in the Clambroth House as a kid. And now I meet him up here in the, with his own cafe here. General Store Cafe. Small world.
When I came in here last year, I really didn't know anything about how they handle little tiny seeds. And they've got machines that actually, actually blow them into the ground. In February, there's nothing. In March, they're coming up. And now here we are in just about May, right? We always came here for flowers, and as do a lot of people from up around our neck. And the Mrs. Gogluski caught my eye. I thought she would really make a neat painting. And for, uh, for years, I, I thought about it. But then until the Alamucci thing came along, this was the first one I jumped on. I came down here, set up out there, and she's right in the middle of it, and all her family and all the people. It was fun. Oh, wow. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Who is that girl? Oh my goodness, that's my Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesse, help me pick out the lettuce. What do we want? Okay, bring them. Bring them all. That's great. Yeah, we'll take them all. I'll put them all in. Some for the groundhog and some for us. Thank you.